So last summer I reworked a small painting that I did the summer before that. It's a small panel, 6 by 12 and I felt that I just had a new vision for that painting and I wanted to try something new and be bold. So that's what I did. So I'd like to share with you my thoughts for reworking a painting and how to bring new life to an old painting. All right, folks, so here is the painting, finished painting, that I'm going to rework. And there it is after I oiled it out. So what that does, it's kind of, um, that's kind of what it would look like with a varnish on, but I didn't varnish it. I used um, oil and some solvent, a mixture of oil and solvent. And that gets the surface, that gets the values back. It wets the surface. And I knew I was gonna redo the entire painting, basically. So now I'm painting into that layer of oil little bit of oil it's very little because the solvent mix into it the solvent evaporates and now i have a layer to paint into so he here's my idea now you could see how much more vibrant these the colors that i'm putting down and that's what i was going for i'm trying to capture what it felt like being in that forest because the the painting before the way that it was I was being, um, you know, I was trying something different. I was trying to be as gray as possible. You know, I, I was holding out my stronger colors and I was holding out the lighter values. I was playing around with uh, reserving my, my values and my color. And for this, I, I, I looked at the painting and I saw that it had a lot of potential. So I realized, you know what, I want to bring this thing to life. I want to create some create you know some really uh bright light effects some warmth and with that warmth the warmth light coming through the forest canopy down into the forest floor where i was in this place you know it's also going to create some cooler shadows so i'm bringing out the warm oranges on the tree the warm yellow greens and then I'm also bringing out the cooler greens and the the purpley grays and the you know the the darker blues in the distance and things so I'm trying basically with reworking this I'm thinking more on an emotional level I'm thinking more of my response to the scene you know I've, I've heard that a lot artists you know it's like you shouldn't just paint what you're you're what's in front of you it's not about just capturing what's in front of you. Sometimes it is because sometimes you want to capture what's really there. You want to be able to create reality. But then you also want to be able to express how you feel about what you're looking at. I hope that makes sense. It's, it's a very subtle thing and it's something I'm always thinking about and, and playing around with and sometimes struggling with. It's not always a perfect, you know, the art journey is not perfect. So... That's what I'm working with this with this painting. And there is a stage in this painting, as you'll see in a few minutes here, where I could have stopped and it would have worked as a great painting and I kind of overdid it a bit. But I, in the end, I think I brought it back to where it needed to be. And, and sometimes, you know, this might not, just because you rework it once doesn't mean that's the end or it came out the way you wanted it to. Sometimes you have to do it again you know, wait a few weeks and then hit it again or wait a few days, see what's wrong with it, touch it up a little bit here and there. But this one actually uh, was very successful and I, I posted on my Facebook that I reworked it and I showed the before and after photo. And from that post, I actually had someone buy the painting. So this painting had been sitting around for a year. Uh, no one was interested in it. You know, it's kind of gray and dark and dull. And then I, I brought some new life to this painting this very emotional, uh, bright, colorful scene. You know, these purples aren't really there in the forest. And I could argue that they are actually. Uh, you know, when you go to these forests, there's so many different colors and amazing things you see. And that's what I was trying to capture here. Not exactly the perfect reality of the forest, but how I felt being there, you know, standing in the, in the cool shadows and observing the warm light coming through. And I think someone else had that same connection to it and just loved the lighting, loved 
the way the painting made them feel and they wanted to purchase it and I became good friends with the uh, the buyers uh, with the buyer of this artwork so sometimes reworking a painting is it's definitely challenging and it's definitely can be scary you know at first I was kind of afraid to rework it because I was like well you know I, I don't want to ruin the painting that are because I already kind of enjoyed the painting that I had so here you can see I actually had it signed in the lower left hand and I just went over it so I had it signed I thought I was done and a few hours later I had it just sitting there in the room and I kind of just let it sit for a while and then I thought you know what I want to bring in some more purples I want to bring in some cooler areas and really make that warm light pop out and kind of move your eye in a circular motion around the canvas so that's what I'm trying to orchestrate here I totally forgot what I was talking about a few minutes ago but yeah it, it can be scary it can be scary to rework a painting but I knew that the painting that I thought was finished I knew I could improve it I knew that almost anything done to it would be an improvement and as soon as I put those first few strokes that you saw there in the beginning I knew it was going to be a great painting because I could just see how dark the real painting was and I, I was not using a full value range I was not you know really bumping up the lights to where they should have been and how it really is in the forest so now I'm bringing in some of the reflected lights and some of the the mid-tones some of the greens that are that are right near the light but somewhat in the shadow you know some of that could be a little I mean all this is exaggerated use of color here like I said it's more of an emotional response to what I'm seeing like I, I could stop right here and you know it would have been fine a few minutes ago but now that I, I, I worked I'm, I'm working into it so now I got to bring it back I got to you know try to make this thing work again so sometimes th there's a lot of struggles there's a lot of challenges but when you have th that's the thing when you have that concept that idea and that I had that idea from the very beginning I want to bring more life to this there's more light uh, the warms versus the cools you know the composition keeping that in balance guiding little spots of light guiding your eye around but not making it super obvious keeping a natural looking in terms of of the composition not overly obvious what's going on and I'm struggling with that here as well so sometimes even though it looks like a great painting in the end it doesn't mean that you didn't struggle to get that outcome sometimes it always it doesn't come as easy as it looks I guess that's the point I'm trying to make but reworking a painting, I mean, sometimes, like I said, it's challenging. But it was definitely fun to do this one, and I'm glad it sold. And I got to experiment a lot there. I'm putting in dashes of orange and stuff. I'm experimenting a lot with this and just having fun. And it turned out to be a great painting. It turned out to be really fun. And w when you get one... Uh, when you rework a painting like this and it comes out great, it makes you want to look at some of your other old work and how can you improve it? Try, try to look at it and see how could I, even if it's just something small, it doesn't, you don't have to rework the entire painting. It could be something small. What kind of touch can you give it? You know, can you add more color somewhere? Will the painting be able to handle that more color? It's definitely a lot to think about, but just try to have fun with it and try to think of it in terms of bringing new life to your old work you know try to have the concept in mind so that you know where the end is that way you don't just keep reworking it and overworking it because uh, that can go on forever but try to bring new life and uh, hopefully someone else will enjoy you know the new version of that painting as well so I'm just about to the end here just gonna add a few more touches of light and depth in the distance and this one was definitely a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to doing more in the future. And there's the before and after. Completely new painting. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hope it was helpful in some way. 
Uh, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. I appreciate it. Check out the links in the description as well and other ways you can support this channel. Keep on painting and drawing. Don't get discouraged. Take care of yourself. Peace.